Our Boho Journal is coming to an end with our two final pages featuring two papers from the Boho set, some original art, and a pocket made from the leftover TP roll from our previous pages. Welcome to PM Artist Studio. I am Mariah, the M in PM. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell. Now, let's get started. Hello and welcome. So glad you have joined us. So this particular page is probably one of the most simple as far as not using a ton of different things. There are two papers that um, you seem kind of cut up here, but really it was, it was two papers that were being used from the Always Flowers Boho set along with that one little bit of of the folded up original art. Actually, it was started out as catch paper and then we just added more colors and things to it. Um, but it was the latch part from the pocket of the previous page. And so it, it being the one original piece on the page, I wanted to make sure that I was showing as much as I possibly could of it versus using all just printable paper, which is totally fine too. And I, I do that a lot as well, but I figured since it was showing through there, then we might as well just piece it in and do the torn collaging bit with the, and this particular one is the rainbow paper created from our dinosaur stamp and here's the side that you can see that was the fold over and the other piece of the toilet paper pocket that was created from that previous page there'll be links below where I can drop a card in to uh, to that particular video along with at the end of the video I'll link to that previous but again just piecing them together and my whole thought there is that I wanted to mainly utilize both the pink and blue stamped parts from the printed set. So that way it coordinated very nicely with the catch paper there at the bottom and flowed very nicely into one another. So it all still seemed very planned and cohesive. Coming along in with one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, which is the blendable marker markers. I'll put links to those down below as well, um, if, if you're interested in those. But that blendable marker is really great to use, not only for just all mixed media that, that I do, um, it works really well with the printed papers. So if that's something that you are doing, Keep in mind there are products that work better than others. Um, for instance, a lot of times I will use the watercolors on those blend or on the torn edges, but you have to be very careful with those because if you have it too watery, it will then bleed out the papers. The blendable markers will kind of do the same thing, but in a different way and with a little bit of control. It's kind of a cool technique. Now what I've done here. Again, like I had said at the beginning, I'm just utilizing the pieces left over from all of the other boho journals and everything, all of everything that we have printed out. Because we've done envelope journals, quite a few projects with these particular papers, and this is the leftover parts. And so now I am just going to utilize all of those leftover parts to finish up not only the two inside last pages, but the back cover. Just so it, again, has a nice feel of moving. I tried to do that throughout this entire journal, meaning having each spread lead into the next. And it just seemed right to then sort of bring that last page around and use up the additional page pieces and parts. So like what you see here is actually like the torn 
part off of some of the leaf, the more rainbow leaf pattern that, so I used the, the leaf part and then this was kind of the other side of the page. So you can see that even though it is a little bit different, it does go very nicely. I mean, each one of these papers leads into the other. And that's how we design the set and any of our sets. And what's really great is we're starting to find out now that not only within a set of the papers do they work well with one another, but because we do utilize the same pattern, so the, for instance, you see here what we call the dinosaur stamp because it originated as a stamp that P made. And we use that pattern throughout our sets. And then that creates a cohesiveness between all of our sets. And I think even in this particular journal, there was, there was a spread where I used some of the papers from Cloudy Seaside. And that's a really cool thing that you know if you have purchased anything from us before that not only can you purchase a new set and bring those in with the papers that you already have. I mean, we're finding that to be very, very enjoyable and fun. So we certainly believe that you will also find that to be <laughs> true and use it for multiple projects. So now I've moved on to the opposite page, which actually, let me see here. So, cause there's three pages hard to kind of keep it all straight in my head <laughs> and then remember what goes to the back but yes this is the very back that you're seeing the the larger part portion of that paper going to be glued down to so that creates again just that lead from one page to the other and then now here we are with a nice kind of first layer for the very back cover. The other reason that I am using this speckled paper there is that is a continuation throughout, well, will be from the very front to the back and I think even a couple of areas in between. So I got a lot of use out of that particular paper and all again it started out as catch paper and then P came back in with some, some rubbing I believe either with some of the crayons or it could even be oil pastel is how that particular paper so nothing crazy by any means just started out with brushos and whatever spatter stuff was on that paper and then coming back over with the rubbing. Pretty simple stuff to create original backgrounds that take things to the next level. Right there is the inside front cover. Continuing on with using that speckled paper. And we'll come back, I like I said earlier, I, I do have the I, I will do a separate video for the cover and the binding. I didn't want to lump everything all into one and it'd be a really, really long video. But I thought that the last two pages plus the cover would be a very good video. Okay, now that the front interior part is done, now we can kind of move back to the very back of the last page. You can see a little bit there how I've stacked it. So this is the back cover, what will be shown on the outside. And just as I always do, trying to use up as much or everything that I possibly can, I, I've used every little bit of this particular paper. And it just, it proved to be a great addition to the printed papers. 
Now coming along with the, as I had mentioned before, the two paper, there was two papers mainly used on these last three pages of the printed. I have just fallen in love with the flowers. They are so cool to use in the large full sheets down to utilizing the little card size pages. But as you can see, just what I did there with a simple torn edge and then coming along and doing sort of a fussy cut along the other side of the flowers, it's a really neat effect. And then being able to wrap that around and then it comes from one side to the other. It was pretty nifty because this is actually the inner part of the page that ends up getting the spiral binding. So it, it will be punched. And I really love how it looks at the very end. And now I'm just kind of coming in and finishing up the little edges there because it didn't quite fold over and I had sort of a, a straight edge. So I went ahead because I had so many little pieces and that's why those are really cool to use too because it's almost like being able to stamp, but here you have it in these pieces that you can sort of tear apart. It's kind of collage stamping is how I've come to look at it. And I just, the flowers work the best because they have nice breaks that when torn, it just looks like that was meant to be. And with it being the rainbowy color, you can kind of use the different sections, sort of how I did with the, with the dinosaur stamp section as well. With those color, the rainbow color fade, it, it allows for some really cool collaging. Or if you just wanted to make, use the pink parts or the blue parts, you can do that too. Now there is a little bit more of work that I did end up doing on the back cover, but we will save that for another, for the final cover along with the binding. Here you can see it bound and how cool that does end up looking there. And the tags video is a whole other little thing. So stay tuned, check back. We do this each week. And be sure to like this video if you haven't already. Leave us a comment below, we love those. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to ring that bell. Thank you again.